Good afternoon. It's a rain-swept day, uh, quite cool, uh, in May 2014, and it was well over 18 months ago that I uh, made, um, knocked up, should I say, because it was done pretty roughly, uh, a Morse key um, for amateur radio, and it was meant to replace this one, which I liked, and um, it was the idea was to use as a test bed and I put up two very long rambling uh, videos um, of making it um, but it, it's taken over 18 months for me to actually finish it off uh, but I did so about an hour ago so uh, here we are I've uh, squared up the arm because it was cockeyed at first um, and these row of holes here in the top of the arm um, were to enable um, contacts to be fitted at different points and in fact these things here is a, a series of um, contact points that came out of an old signal generator I broke up uh, and they've been jolly useful because you could have several in place at once um, and have a movable a movable uh, contact which you could uh, slide along or a little bit of printed circuit board and um, try different things and now I've settled down on the configuration Yes, we after trying different positions, we settled on uh, two and three quarter inches in front of the pivot for the front contact. That's about uh, seven centimeters. And originally, on our favourite old key that wore out, um, I mean, actually, it was worn out when we had it. It was a piece of junk, to be honest. But I rather liked it. Um, the backstop was one inch behind the pivot, um, but I left an extra inch on the bar when I made it on, on the arm in case. I wanted to move the backstop further back and in fact that proved to be a good thing. So the backstop is now two inches or um, five centimetres behind the uh, pivot. So it's a bit straggler, you know, it's quite long but it, 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 it does suit me. And the idea is of course you make a key or you contrive one which suits what one that you like because, you know, nobody else is going to use it. So um, there we are and I, <clears throat> I think it's finished. Um, I think the only other thing worth mentioning is that the um, the backstop was originally here and it was drilled and tapped 4BA. Um, now that's about 38 threads per inch, which is rather coarse for an adjuster for the, for, for the gap. Um, so when I moved it back uh, this morning, I used 6BA, which I think is 53 TPI. It's rather thin. Uh, but you do need a very fine thread for adjusting the, uh, you know, the, the gap. I tend to use a very small gap. Um, so we could really do with a finer thread still, but I, I just use what taps I've got. Um, and then at the back, there's a spring, which you can see, of course, uh, which goes down from this uh, 4BA. This is 4BA. That's 4BA there. Down to a 6BA screw screwed in, in the back there and I've fiddled with the spring and it seems to be okay to be going on with uh, and another um, <laughs> refinement although it's rather crude is that once you've adjusted the gap when you screw this spring support in it will actually lock this um, and it's not nice to have a thread working against a thread to stop it but <laughs> it's just a piece of experimental stuff uh, so uh, what's it like? Uh, well, I, I quite like it, but then again, it was my baby sort of thing. And, um, I don't know, this key is... That's um, 18 words a minute. I don't send that fast on a straight key. And I certainly can't read it very well. Uh, but um, I, I would be something like...
so that's about 15 or 16 that's max um, so I'm going to enjoy fiddling around with this and uh, seeing how we get on and by the way um, do check out I'll put a, a link on to the uh, fists if you've not heard of fists it's a, a British base but worldwide um, a group of uh, amateurs that love Morse code and so there we are Well, there we are. Uh, an unusually short video, perhaps even a, a, a world record. Uh, we'll see. Uh, anything else in the offing? Um, well, there's, a, there's another project I'm working on. Uh, it doesn't work yet, um, so um, I won't show it you. Um, or yeah, perhaps I will. Uh, yes, I'm afraid it's the it's the red monster. We've got five um, Z4, a VR one fifty thirty, a six L six. Uh, 6v6 and a 6j5 and it's not actually working uh, yet but um, well well <laughs> yes um, some of it's working and eventually it will provide about uh, perhaps as much as six or eight watts on the uh, 80 meter band uh, CW of course and um, each individual section works, but they can't quite get on together, so uh, more and wrong. All the best for now. Bye. <laughs>